Check this out. Top 10 most underrated rappers in Africa. My name is Fairchild and you are watching Cross Rhythm. So before I begin, I wanted to explain to you guys the criteria I used to come up with this list, this top 10 list, okay? I went through a couple of websites, a lot of pages. I looked through their lists of who their top 10 rappers are, and we took those rappers off the table. So right away, we have no manifest, uh, no Sakodi. Sorry, guys. But that's how we're going to do this list. Anyone who's, who seems to pop up a lot in other lists, I had to take them off. So here we go. My top 10 list, number 10. And number 10, I have... Many Faces by Giddy Giddy Maji Maji. This is a Kenyan duo. They're very popular back in the early 2000s. They had a really good run. Uh, some of my favorite songs along with Many Faces was Buoga Me. Who can Buoga Me? That's how you, you pronounce it. Uh, it was a very popular song back then. Even politicians were using this song. Look, they're not the most lyrical rappers out there, but they make good music. They were the first rappers that I saw being successful with infusing this African sound with hip hop elements. They even ended up being signed with Gallo Records. This is a South African record company. That's where we get the album that has the song Many Faces, a very soulful song. In interviews that I read, they took a world tour back in 2009 and decided to take a break. Very underrated group. So that's my number 10, Giddy Giddy Maji Maji Many Faces. At number nine, I have the interlude by Octopizo. He's a Kenyan rapper, East Africa stand up. Dope artist, dope artist. I hear a lot of boom bap on the interlude. He takes this boom bap sound and he mixes it with these uh, old African uh, elements. Just listening to his projects, I went through his work. He definitely does very well mesh that together. The visuals, I mean the visuals on, on, on a lot of his music videos. In interviews that I read, he does live abroad. He has been abroad on and off. Dope rapper, if you guys have not heard him, Go check him out, Octopizo, Songs Interlude. There are also other songs that I had listened to that, are, that I really liked and I enjoyed. Definitely a guy to watch in 2021. Number eight, I have Amalobolo by OK Malum Cool Cat, rapper from South Africa. Mlazi Milano, this was an album that he put out in 2018. This was such an underrated album. I don't think you guys understand how unique of an album that was. If you go back and listen to a lot of those albums that came out in 2018, Mlazi Milano, is, it stands out. It's very different to all of them. And this song, Amalobolo, it's no exception. The song is not an exception. Just when you look at the video, the lead girl, she's just rocking her natural hair. They're just hanging by the beach. It caught my attention. Amalobolo is a timeless song. It's going to be around for a long time. And then the older it gets, it just ages so well we don't give okay malum cool cat enough credit for the the influence that he has had on the south african music industry a lot of artists back then started sounding like okay malum cool cat and it's okay for you to be to be inspired but i think we need to give him his credit my number eight amalobolo okay malum cool cat at number seven i have mobeti by pure akan he is a Ghanaian rapper his flow reminds me of that 90s Arrested Development sound. I mean, I love his fashion. The video for, for Mobeti, it's so unique. I mean, the guy is just standing on a ladder rapping. I'd never seen anything like that before. I thought that was really unique. He does have an upcoming album in interviews that I had read. So I really look forward to hearing more from the Ghanaian rapper, Pure Khan. Song is Mobeti. He does have other dope songs too. Go check out The Discovery if you haven't. Number seven. Number six, I Have Home by Ricky Rick featuring Mass Music. Look, I said it back then and I still stand by what I said that Ricky Rick is one of the most underrated rappers in the South African hip-hop scene. I know a lot of you felt that Ricky Rick was a little overrated. I feel he's underrated. And back then, I said that on the Costa Titch album review. Go check that album review out if you haven't. I did one on Costa Titch. He's a rapper from South Africa. But I said it back then. Ricky Rick had a feature on that album that Ricky Rick is underrated. Every time I hear him, he gets better and better. And this was even before this song, Home, had come out. Home just came out recently with Mass Music. 
He's still on that TKZ flow that every now and then he does take on. He sounds a lot like Cabello on this one. We are due for a Ricky Rick full length project. I'm excited. I'm hoping, you know, it's going to come out this year uh, from just listening to the singles that he's given us. I think it's a good preview that we're going to get a solid album. I'm hoping we'll get a solid album. I would like to review it when it does uh, come out. So this is my number six. Home by Ricky Rick featuring Mass Music. At number five, I have The Five Year Plan by A. Reese. South African rapper, I get it with this guy. He's very popular with the younger generation, but I get it. I get it. You know, it's always interesting to me to see a younger rapper because I consider A. Reese to be part of the younger generation who is very much still into putting down good bars while still finding a nice balance of a good song. The Five Year Plan is a great example of that. He put out a great mixtape this year, Today's Tragedy, Tomorrow's Memory. That was a great project. Go check it out if you haven't. I look forward to hearing a full-length album from Aries. I hear the J. Cole influence from him. He definitely sounds like J. Cole. If you guys aren't familiar with Aries, go check out his music. And he is my number five with The Five Year Plan. At number four, I have Make Up Your Mind by Ice Prince featuring Techno. Ice Prince is a Nigerian rapper, also known as Zamani. The early part of the 2000s, Ice Prince had this phenomenal run. Ice Prince was on fire. If you guys have not heard his 2013 project, Fire of Zamani, you need to go check it out. Definitely a favorite of mine on it. We had Mutumina and a couple of others. And during that time, Ice Prince had a lot of great singles that he, he had great singles that came out. He was on the Ranzanaira remix. He was on Shots on Shots with Sakodi. He was on N-Word with, with AKA. And then somewhere in the middle, we did also get Particular that was uh, with Major Lazer, Jidena, and, and Nasty C. But I don't know what happened somewhere in the middle. The one thing we did love about Ice Prince was he would take these nice hip hop grime beats and he would also infuse Afro pop sound with it. And we definitely got a nice sound from that, but it sounded like he moved away from it. Or maybe he just wanted a different sound. But recently we get to make up your mind with techno. This is a great beat. It sounds like he's starting to go back to that form that we were used to hearing him at. So I'm very excited to hear more from Ice Prince. I mean, techno is a great beat selector when it comes down to an artist who picks great beats. I don't think we give techno enough credit for his beat selection. I mean, Pana is a very unique sounding beat along with Go. So that would be a great go-to guy to find you these good beats to help you get back to the greatness that we saw you at in 2013. So that's my number four, Make Up Your Mind by Ice Prince featuring Techno. Number three, I have Ktek and the song is Ftila. Ktek is a Moroccan rapper who raps seemingly across three languages, Arabic, French, and English. She reminds me a lot of MIA. Uh, definitely when I'm watching her, it looks like she's about to have that same run that MIA had in the 2000s. BBC named Ktek. So they put her in the top 100 women of 2020. She raps a lot on drill beats. It just sounds really dope. Her hooks, guys, are so catchy. I do like Ftila. Bizarre is another one of my favorite. I went through her ca catalog and she's definitely up and coming. I see a bright future ahead of her in interviews that I watch. She doesn't do a lot of advocating in her music. She just, her music mainly talks about the Moroccan street life, her advocating, the advocating part of her. That's, that's a totally different, different aspect of her. Great rapper, someone to go watch, go check out, go listen to her music if you haven't heard her. Tech with Tila, my number three. And number two, I have Infinity, Infinity by Olamide with Omale. Are we paying attention to the quality of music that Olamide has been putting out lately? I mean, Cop DM was a great album. Loading was on everyone's timeline. Loading had to have had probably the most unique music video I had seen in 2020. And the follow-up singles that we've been having have been fire. We had Require with DJ Tunes that came out in December. I did a song review on Require. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. We also have this new single that came out, Rock, which is a really great song, very classy music video. 
it does sound like he's definitely looking for a broader audience now. And I think Olamide is the guy that we need to watch going into 2021. And I can't wait for the next album that he's going to put out. My number two, Infinity with Olamide. And my number one, my number one South African rapper, Proverb. For those of you who are not familiar with who Proverb is, he's a rapper from South Africa, specifically from Kimberley. Says it a lot in his music. Proverb hasn't put out anything recently. He's been more involved in the media and just uh, doing a lot of investing in interviews that I that I did watch. Proverb is a legendary rapper. If you go back to his catalog. That album that came out back then in the 2000 book of Proverb is almost damn near perfect. Proverb is a very underrated rapper. It is easy for us to name the rappers that are very popular. Proverb was around before the hip hop scene really took off. He will just buy you to death. Manuscript came out afterwards. That was pretty good too. I mean, he is a legend. The song that I picked for the number one writers club Writers Club is definitely a great example as to why Proverb is so great in terms of even the subject matter, the things that he talks about. Lost in Vegas, this is a blog channel. It's a reaction review channel. They did a reaction video to Writers Club Proverb. When you watch that video, you can definitely look at the excitement in their faces when they're just listening to the greatness of the song Proverb. My number one with Writers Club. So that's it, folks. My top 10 most underrated rappers from Africa. Let me know in the comments what some of your favorite or most underrated African artists are, underrated rappers. Remember to like and subscribe, and let's continue the discussion in the comments.